What do you want? I'm looking for Dio. Is he here? Uh, I figured you'd be taller. Head to the first floor. Dio's up there. I'll let him know you're here. No stalkers allowed. Are you deaf or something? Keep out! I'm looking for Dio. The guard at the workshop told me he's here. Where was I? Name? Skiff. All right, go ahead. Your equipment, Professor. Not a circa. Out there in the zone. Who the hell are you? Decided to play soldier with me? Nitro and I were just discussing a certain puzzle we've found in the zone. But we can't quite seem to get all the pieces to fit. Maybe you can figure it out. Good. Only I can't decide Colonel, if you're... Colonel, if I may. It's Skiff, right? I need you... I need all of us to understand the urgency of this situation, given the extreme importance of our mission. That goes for you too, Skiff. I hear you've managed to activate one of our devices. The Institute's most valuable invention. Diode said you asked him some questions about the scanner. You got it to work at the old bridge, didn't you? And the artifact? There was a faded artifact in the scanner. What happened to it? Tell us what you need to know, and you can take the gun. I was there. I was attacked, just like your men. The scanner was stolen. And I'm looking for the scumbags who took it. <sighs> Good. Okay. Maybe you know something I don't. Help me find those bastards, Skiff. Nope. Nothing so far. You stalkers are a strange breed. Do you have to be so stubborn? You put your secrets before reason I... and... And for what? To snuff it? In the first anomaly you stumble into? Just for some make-believe miracles of the zone? Unfortunately, I wasn't given a chance to introduce myself. My name is Dmitro Dalin, and I'm the head of Circa. The scanner is the Institute's greatest achievement. But right now, what really matters is the revived artifact at the heart of it. Wasting your time, Dalin. If you get it back, our dream can become a reality. Mankind will be transformed. We'll open the way for future technology. And it will all be thanks to you. Thanks to your courage and perseverance. Nice to know, Hedda Circa. And rest assured, all your hard work and efforts will be rewarded handsomely. Mm-hmm.
Hey, skip. It's gonna be. I'd like a word with you, in private. The kingpins won't be happy if there's nobody here to shoot the shit with. Your pick, stalker. My pride. You got some loot? Let me have a look. Bring back some loot next time. I don't even want to know what portion of wanted from you. Blah, 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 keep in order, blah, 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 the zone is the key to the good of mankind. He doesn't give a damn about mankind or the zone, even though the world is already becoming a part of it. Uh, don't tell him that, though. The news will crash that poor bastard. You should drop by the sawmill, Skiff. You've already seen one side of the zone. It's about time you saw the other. You won't regret it, I promise. Why don't you just walk out of here on your own? See, here's the thing. My teacher said I gotta work on my anomaly sense. Then I can trust my gut instead of relying on some fancy gear. So I listened to my gut and I went after an artifact. I even left my bolts at the camp. You think it worked? No fucking way, man. I spent hours searching for that damn artifact. I was tired as hell and about to turn back. That's when my anomaly sent shot the bed on me. That's how I ended up getting stuck here. Follow me. One step at a time, my friend. One step at a time.
good man is always on time for lunch. Who said I'm a good man? Richter, and the guys from the detention center. And me, Scar. Don't worry, this time you won't have to lift anything heavier than a bottle. What happened at the factory? They say, you've got to use whatever's close at hand. And there are plenty of things close at hand in the zone. If you know where to look. Like a scanner. I'm... gonna check the surroundings. I was told it was invented at the Institute. Who told you that? Darling? <laughs> nah, kiddo. All their gadgets are just... Revamp Project X designs. They were found in the old labs. Project what? The Zone harbors many secrets scattered among the old bones. There were scientists here way before the Institute, even before the Zone itself came into being. Ah, so they're the ones that left us the goodies that we give to the Ward. Take a seat. You, uh, don't like the Ward? <sighs> the Ward have no desire to conquer the Zone. They went to... Extend the Institute up to its borders. They want to turn the zone into a testing ground to meet mankind's insatiable needs. Darlin says it's all for the greater good of the mainland, but what does that really mean? It's perfect as is. People come to the zone to witness miracles. One of your miracles wrecked my home. Aha. Uh -huh. Things just got interesting. So you've seen an anomaly. Outside the zone. That's why I'm here. Someone's gotta pay. Oh, shit's gotta go down at the Institute. I've heard the rumors, but never firsthand. And I've got a funny feeling there's more trouble to come. As long as Circuit keeps going, none of this is gonna end well for any of us. What do you want to achieve? Zombie! Relax. This is the dark side of the zone. But there is another. The shining side. It's here all around us, but we cannot see it. I wonder what's out there. Eternal Spring, the Klondike of artifacts, a new home, or our hearts, desires, but most importantly, no ward. We want the Shining Zone to reveal itself. For now, as far as we're concerned, oh shit, you're just a good guy. That's all I'm going to say, or rather I think that's all you are ready to hear. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Would you like some toast? I get it. You're angry. That's why you're not hungry. And couldn't care less about the troubles of others. Can I help? The Circa facility stands on top of an old lab. It used to be locked shut, but the ward has managed to break it open. That's when the troubles on the mainland began. We need to figure out what they're up to there. But the PDAs taken from the dead wardens are pretty useless. I can get inside once I have my scanner back. I've already found something. Really? What is it? Looks like monolith tech. Where'd you get it? One of my attackers had it on him. Hmm. Sounds like Strider is in trouble. You must head over to Wild Island. Normally they don't let loners in, but we'll figure something out. All right. You're looking for Strider, the leader of Noontide. They've used PDAs like this one in the past. They're not exactly welcoming to outsiders, and for a reason. But I've got an idea. I've got a guy inside Noontide. 
His brothers were supposed to deliver an important shipment to their wild island base. But they've gone missing. He'll send you the coordinates to the spot where they made contact last time. Find that cargo, and it'll be your ticket in. Sure, Noontide isn't going anywhere. But you better hurry, just in case. You mentioned the Shining Zone. Do you really think it exists? Belief is a complicated thing, and I'm a simple man. I don't believe it. I know it. I heard about it from a man who's been walking the zone for longer than any of us. He's seen the Shining Zone with his very own eyes. I'm talking about Strelok. Who's that? He's the legend of the zone. Strelok went to the center of the zone, and that's where he saw it. The other zone. The real one. Unfortunately, he doesn't want to share any details about it. But we're not picky. When you don't have a map, directions will do. Well, if I said I understood everything, I'd be lying. Honesty is good, but paying attention is even better. Everything that's happening now, and everything that happened to you before, is the work of Sirka, a scanner, your own. And that's just the beginning. Using Project X's tech is always a bad idea. Even if Dalin improves it, especially if he does. Why did the zombies just walk right past you? Maybe we're the zombies. Always restless, always longing for something. Our bellies never full. Ha! I'll teach you that trick if we end up hitting it off. I'm not saying goodbye.
alone without the cargo. Nope, I'm not going back. Wild Island is off limits to stalkers. I brought some cargo. I believe it's yours. It's not ours. It belongs to Professor Lodochka. You can enter Wild Island and give it to him. Stone, no! He's a stalker. He's alone, brother. He's the one who should be afraid of us. I hope you share my brother's fate, stalker. I hope he ain't staying here long. Hello. Well, here we are. Do you need anything? See you around. So you're the man everyone's talking about. Greetings, Doctor. I haven't seen your kind around here in a while. I've got a package for you. Oh, really? About time. Pleasant surprise for once. Why the hell should I reinvent the bicycle to replace the car? None of the other methods have anywhere near the capacity I need. I can't help but ask. Why would a loner deliver my cargo? Are you running an errand for somebody, or...? What's so important about the cargo I brought? Wild Island doesn't trade, doesn't wage war, doesn't steal. 
The question is, how do these wonderful people make a living here? They have me and my experimental devices that convert chemicals into electricity to power the base. Their capacity is limited for now, but their potential is not. The package contains some rare parts I've been sorely lacking. And now you can understand why. I just stumbled across it. I came to the island looking for Strider. Everyone's looking for Strider. Everyone needs Strider's help. I wish someone would help him for a change, but that guy... <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Strider's at the storage facility. We have an emergency, and he said not to let anybody in without Dugny's permission until the threat is eliminated. I guess you need to talk to Dugny then. Dugny is Strider's right-hand man, and he's mighty protective of Strider, so keep that in mind. My gut tells me you should look for him there. Good luck. I shouldn't have told Stone not to let you in. Thanks for delivering the cargo. It really means a lot to me. Do you know where I can find Strider? Right now? I don't know. I haven't gone to the base. I'm too ashamed. Ask around. Maybe some brothers will be willing to talk to you. I gotta get to the infirmary. Since you're here anyway, you got any any re- <sighs> I happen to have just the right amount with me. I hope there's nothing wrong. What? You're gonna keep hanging around? I need to talk to Strider. He's got his hands full as it is. There was an explosion at the toxic waste storage facility. He went to deal with it. But you're not gonna just walk away, are you? No. Of course not. Go talk to Dubny. He's Strider's right hand. I'm busy, loner. Go find Dubny. I'm busy, loner. Go find Dubny. Huh? Sorry. I got a little carried away there. Whoa! Are you a stalker? Do the brothers know you're here? They announced my arrival over the radio. Really? Cool. Look, I've got a question. Is it true that there are no missions on the mainland? You mean you've never been to the mainland? Don't know. If I have, I can't remember it. We don't remember anything that happened before the monolith fell silent. So, is it true? There really aren't any missions on the mainland? 
I've never seen emissions outside the zone. So Richter wasn't lying to me. And they say a stalker's word can't be trusted, since they're constantly lying, even to their own kind. The emissions always make me feel kind of weird. Like I'm losing myself or something. Guess I should move to the mainland, huh? Too bad I can't leave the base. So you're not... allowed... to leave Wild Island? Nah, that's not it. Everybody here is free to leave or come back whenever they want. It's just that Strider asked me to stay here. He says it's too dangerous out there. I trust my brother. I need to talk to Strider. Do you know where- I don't know. When I'm busy doing something. Stop by again later, okay? Stop by again later, okay? Hey, Stalker. Need to sell some gear or grab something new? Okay, let's hear it. We were at the traders the other day, Quiet and me. Cost us a lot of artifacts, but totally worth it. That's all. Do we need to continue this? Hey, you are ruining our meal. Did you come here to gawk at us? Or just eat and drink? We're monsters, right? Worse than any mutant? Your brothers are killing mine for reasons you can't remember. Go away! You didn't hear it from me, okay? I'm looking for Strider. The facility is closed on Dugny's orders. every night. Get a good night's sleep for once. As if we could catch any shut-eye here. It's ready to blow at any moment. Did you hear that loud bang earlier? Faust's right. You ought to listen. You're the only one who could have done it, Faust. Got anything to say? Don't move. You knew Strider was gonna go alone. He was not alone. I sent Foma with him. Don't try to mess with my head! This is your anger talking, brother. You seek enemies amongst your own kind, and yet... There is a stranger in your midst. What the fuck? A stalker? Strider entrusted the security of this island to you. I will not get in your way. This ain't over, brother. We let you in, but that don't mean I approve of it. What do you want from us? I need to talk to Strider. 
Forget it. He's busy dealing with a problem at the storage facility, alone as usual. He told me to back off. It's too dangerous to get near the anomalies, he says. But you are a stalker, right? You wander into that trap every day, detecting hand trading artifacts for Hooch. Ever dealt with any anomalies emerging without an emission? I'm afraid I did. All right, go ahead. I sure hope you ain't lying. And I don't regret trusting you. What were you and that, uh, Faust guy arguing about? Nothing. I thought you wanted to talk to Strider. So go talk to him. Dubny told me about you. Come on in. How are they doing? <sighs> Could be worse. I am busy, Loner. I'm trying to help my brothers.
Is that you, Stalker? Careful now. Do you know what this thing is? A scanner. We'd better turn it off. Agreed. Let's do it. Activate it with no artifact present. This is what happens. Is it safe now? Yeah. Unless whoever is responsible for this comes back to finish you off. That's what happened to me. What else do I need to know? My attackers had a PDA like this one. Looks like some of your men are involved in this. This is indeed a piece of monolith technology. And I'll help you solve this puzzle. But first, you need to understand one thing. Noon is not monolith. We've rejected our past. We do not use our old gear. We never attack our brothers, nor do we attack stalkers. I'm not sure I fully understand you. So what do you think Monolith actually was? A human shield. A crime against humanity. Those who wandered too close to the secrets hidden at the center of the zone ended up brainwashed, stripped of their identity and will. This is how Monolith recruited its fighters. That control is gone now. But our memories never return. I spent a long time trying to learn more. And then I decided it was time to move on. I understand. So what do we do now? The force that used to control us guarded its tools jealously. There used to be a database that tracked every monolithian PDA out there. Hopefully we can take advantage of what's left of it. Talk to Professor Lodeshka. He'll know what to do. Report back to me once you're done. Right now, I need to help my men. I'll let my brothers know you're no longer a stranger on this island. Let me get a look at you, Strider. You could have gotten hit while you were pulling everybody else out. Make sure they're going to be all right first. for once. Oh, it's you. What can I do for you? Strider said there was a way to trace the source of commands being sent to a monolith PDA. He told me to talk to you. The local fawn is not enough for you? So now you're off to chase ghosts, huh? No one's used those things for a very long time. Or... Crap. Strider's got enough problems as it is. Sure, it can be done, but you'll need an inductor, and they're not easy to come by. 
There could be one lying around somewhere at the WPS, though. The WPS? What's that? The Waste Processing Station. That's where Noon is storing toxic waste until I can figure out how to dispose of it on a large scale. Then they'll use stuff no one else wants to become entirely self-sufficient. They might even sell electricity to other groups. If that's not a utopia, what is? Strider's got his mind on the future, you know? I wish I could live long enough to see what he sees. Any PDA can be traced that way? Only the monolithian ones. They have their own comm system based on alternative waveguides. And by alternative, I mean anomalous. It's tech from the old Project X days. My knowledge of it is pretty superficial. And I only know as much as I do because Strider used to be interested in that stuff. But I do know how to use it. Pores and I even offered to adapt the station to our needs. But Strider wants nothing to do with anything monolith related. I'll go get the inductor you mentioned. Once you have it, take it to Horace. He's even better than me at this kind of thing. He'll figure it out. I don't know what he did in his past life, but the boy's got a remarkable knack for technology. He'll have to learn to take care of Noon's equipment on his own. All right, loner, you know what to do. Good luck. What were you and Horz arguing about? Need a hand? You've already helped me once, so I guess I can trust you. Yeah, there's something you can do. A noontider named Kvashka went up on the roof and turned on the antenna for some reason. He was blasted by psi radiation and turned into a zombie. They just left him there. You should get up there and shut the antenna down. And put the guy out of his misery. I can't bear to see him like that every day. I'll see what I can do about it. When I detected the spike in C radiation, Strider had the main entrance to the roof blocked. But there's an old ladder on the outer wall. There's only one switch, you can't miss it. And please, help Kvashka. It's wrong to leave him like that out of some foolish hope. Why get scared? Fate is fate, whatever needs to happen.
Hi there, Stalker. This is Horace. I see you're going up on the roof. Did the professor send you? Leave Kvashka alone. Please. If you want to help, just turn the antenna off. We used to be kind of like zombies ourselves. What if he can be saved too? We'll find a way. Just give us time. You should never give up hope. you. What can I do for you? It's done. The antenna is off. I left Kvashka alone, though. Well, thanks anyway. I won't ask you your reasons. Maybe the madness of this place is contagious. After all, I'm still here.
must be nearby. Keep them in your sights. Some other time, all right? He must be nearby. Can't wake him up. Need help immediately. My corner has... Brother. Stalker, help! There's someone, something terrible down there. Shh. Oh, no, stop. I don't want to hear it. It came out of thin air, and everyone at the station lost their mind. They were screaming, shooting at each other. Only two of us made it out of there. That thing still got bluish, though. Quiet. Hush. Shut up. Shut up! Shut up! Ah! I thought he'd get better if I dragged him away, but he's getting worse. Please, kill whatever is hiding down there. I'm begging you. I, I'll give you the code to the stash. Tell me what happened here. Bluish and I went out for a smoke break. Then we heard gunshots and screams coming from the station. Bluish rushed back, and I went after him. 
We didn't get far before that thing spotted us. I felt like someone was peering into my mind, crushing it, whispering things. Louis fell. He was ahead of me, so it hit him harder. I grabbed him and ran away. I contacted Dubny right away. That's our chief safety officer. Leave Bluish there, he said. And get to the base. I'm sending help. I never abandoned Bluish, of course. But help never came. What is this place? What are you doing here? It's, it's a waste processing station. We work here in shifts. Every, every noon tider must contribute to the common cause. Look, I'll answer your questions later. Just help me kill that creature that's holed up in the basement. All right, I'll deal with it. I'll kill this creature, whatever it is. For real? Thanks. That thing is hiding underground, waiting. There's a safe way to get down there, but only North has the key. He's our supervisor. He must be upstairs. Sometimes he climbs to the roof to get some fresh air. Go find him. One more thing. There are a lot of our men inside. If it wasn't for the thing downstairs, they'd do you no harm. But they're out of their minds now, so take care.
Tider hired me to kill a dangerous mutant. That's true, and he did it. The thing's dead. Shut up! Did you really take out the controller all by yourself? <laughs> Thanks, I guess. You saved me a lot of time. So here's the deal. I don't want any trouble with Dubny. He always pays me triple. And his orders were clear. Get rid of any witnesses along with anyone who was under the controller's influence. You can scurry back to your base, New Tider. But the Stalker and the Shell Shock guy are out of luck. We'll see who's out of luck here. Exactly! Eat waste, you freak! what Dubny calls help. And he's the one who thinks stalkers are assholes. If he'd only send five guys like you instead. <sighs> Thanks again, man. We are not going back to noon. If I have to listen to Dubny ramble on about how he did the right thing and shit, I'm gonna barf. Lewis was right. We're better off leaving. <laughs> the stash you gave me was empty. Quiet had already looted it. When was the last time you checked it? Oh, sorry about that, sucker. We're not allowed in there. Here, I sent some coupons to your PDA instead. Anyway, Quiet's all right. He's done. Bluish wanted to leave for a long time, and I kept. In the end, me and Bluish weren't the. Can you tell me? Sure thing, loner. You must have some kind of connection. Oh, you don't know? That's all I wanted to know. Do you have any? Maybe I'll see you around. Maybe.
filthy, pathetic lives. You can't kill God, just like you can't get rid of the sky up above. You can go and hide from him and car away in some musty hole in the ground, but that won't stop the wind from blowing or the rain from pouring. Crazy fanatics, they say. Murderers. Brave warriors, I tell you. His worthy children. Stop brainwashing my men, Faust. You're only making it worse. What could be worse than this? What have we become? Are you happy, Strider? My boots are fine for the road I walk. There are more important things than happiness. And what's that then? Backbreaking work? Arch. That enduring sense of guilt. It didn't used to be like this. We were different. Part of something much greater. I was the word, and you carried the banner of the monolith. We brought death against our will. Well, now we're dying ourselves. The fumes are killing us, as are the bullets of our vengeful enemies. How many? Brothers roam the zone to this day, lost and forgotten, forced to hide their past. We have to find them. We have to bring them to their safety. By force? We all know about Wild Island. Everyone must make the choice for themselves. And what will they find here? The meaning of life? Or oh, a similar bunch of miserable wretches just like them who don't know what they Strider want. Strider saved us! Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now he's killing us. Once we were his children. And what are we now? Men of free will. Who choose their own way. You're living in the past, Faust. The monolith is dead. It's time to grow up. You can't kill God. Just like you can't get rid of the sky up above. Think again. I am blind. But it is you who cannot see. Go, Cower, in your hole in the ground. Hide from the past. Hide from his light. Hide from yourself. Skiff, do you have the inductor? What did I just see? The end of one very long argument. I just hope we never find out who was right. You said Noon has rejected its monolithic past. Losing our memory was a gift from fate. I believe that Noon has its own way, its own future, and we will earn it with the sweat of our brow. But Faust, he still remembers Monolith, remembers the days when we used to be happy. Unfortunately, there are others who wish they could still remember it.
Fury 2, so now they're gone. They're no longer a part of New. But if any of them ever changes their mind, Wild Island will always welcome them back. Sure. I have it with me. There's an old Azimuth comm station not far from here. One day, after we find and mothball all that's left of Monolith, we'll destroy it. In the meantime, of course? It's a good thing you have that inductor stalking. It can direct a signal. You'll need it later. But the station needs to be turned on first. Azimuth was taken over by the ward a little while ago. They have the access keys. I guess you can figure out what to do about them. Looks like Faust is involved in this mess. Are you gonna do something about it? You think I haven't tried to stop him, Skiff? What am I supposed to do? Silence him? Lock him in his cell? People blame us because of our monolithian past. But Faust, he was one of the first people I brought here. We built Noon together. He cares for his brothers. He wants them to find happiness. Faust's got his own way of helping them. I might disagree with the path he has chosen, but that's no excuse to take away his freedom. Otherwise, what's the point of it all? So I guess I'm going to Azimuth. Wait a minute, Skiff. This isn't just your concern anymore. Faust is my brother. That much is true. I still trust him. But if it turns out that he's going to hurt someone, Noon is not your enemy. And this is my proof. Keep it, loner. It's a... good gun. Why would you give it to a stalker but wear a shell casing that matches it around your neck? The gun is a gift. For the future. As for the shell casing, it signifies the past. Do we understand each other? Noon is not monolith. We make our own choices now. One, two, it works, right? Check, one, two. Who are you? Actually, go talk to Quiet. Oh, that's me. 